Hey everyone, it's Janae Way, and today I'm coming at you with a new YouTube video, and in this video we're talking about how I became a pole dance instructor. So if you don't already know, I'm a pole dancer and pole instructor, and I have a whole pole playlist on my channel, and I'll leave it right up here so you can check it out for yourself. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I actually started teaching. So if you're interested in seeing that, then keep on watching. But before we even get into this video, definitely make sure you're subscribed, okay, because I don't want you to miss a thing. And make sure you're following me on Instagram at Janae so we can always stay connected. Now let's go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, so boom. I actually started dancing about two and a half years ago. And I have a video on my channel where I talk about why I started pole dancing. So you can go check that out up here if you're interested. But when I started pole dancing and I figured out that I was really in love with it, I was super committed to class. So I went to class about three days a week and I was just committed to constantly getting better. So over time, as I kept going to class over the past couple of years, I would post a lot on Instagram just showing my progress. And I always got comments about if I was an instructor. People would be asking me, oh, do you teach? Can you teach me that? And I was just like, no, no, I can't. Like I'm nowhere near ready to teach. There's no way I could teach you anything. But people kept asking me that. And looking back to things that I was posting and how advanced I was getting, I get how people could ask if I was a teacher, but at the same time, I'm the type of person where if, I, if it's a matter of helping other people, I want to make sure I could do that to the best of my ability and I want to be an expert in whatever I'm doing if it's going to be affecting other people. So for me, in my mind, I'm like, I just started doing this. There is no way that I could teach and like, just no, I'm not doing that. I'm not qualified. But fast forward to about seven or eight months ago, my girlfriend was having her bachelorette party and we were actually doing a pole dancing party at my studio. And it was my instructor, Ebony, who was teaching the party. So we go to the party, we're having a good time, but I spent a lot of time just kind of off to the side talking with Ebony. Since I wasn't a beginner there, all of the girls that were there for the party were beginners, so Ebony was teaching beginner moves. I was pretty much just off to the side, hanging out playing around with different things that I already know. But I started talking to Ebony a little bit and she was telling me how she had a full schedule that day. She had so many parties to teach and she was so tired. And she jokingly said, hey, do you want to teach the rest of my parties today? And I said, girl, yes, as long as I'm getting paid, I'll teach anything. But that actually transitioned into a more serious conversation about an opportunity for me teaching. So we started talking more about it and she was just like, honestly, we do need another instructor at the studio and I've been watching you and your progress and your demeanor and your personality and I think it would be a great fit for you to start teaching if that's something that you're interested in. And in my mind, I was just like, bet. That just confirmed for me, like, okay, if Ebony says I'm qualified, I'm qualified. Because this is coming from somebody who has more than 12 years of experience being a pole dancer and teaching. So I'm like, if she really thinks I'm qualified, then I'm just going to go ahead and do this. That was honestly all I needed to hear and it pretty much just confirmed to me what everybody around me was saying, but the fact that it came from somebody with more than 12 years of experience in pole and in teaching, it validated it for me because it wasn't just people watching me do this cool thing that they were interested in learning. No, this was coming from somebody who is very much experienced and was like, you know what, yeah, you got it and you can do it. So I was just completely validated and I was like, yes, girl, like I'm all in. So Ebony started training me, I would come to class, I would be taking notes in the corner, I would be following her around to students as she was helping them adjust or fix different positions in what they were doing. I started running her warm up in certain classes, she had me in certain classes like going around helping other people with certain moves just so I can get more knowledge of what it's like to truly be an instructor and I learned so much in that time because there was a lot that you have to pay attention to as an instructor and especially from a safety aspect. Safety is paramount in pole, so you really, really, really have to be on it when it comes to safety. Just the smallest thing can make the biggest difference. So for example, how somebody is gripping the pole with their hand, if their grip is wrong, that can drastically increase the risk of getting injured. So just learning all of those things and those small details and just soaking up as much knowledge as I can so that I was prepared to teach when I finally got to my first class. So finally, a couple months later, I taught my first class. Ebony was there the whole time, giving me feedback, giving me notes. And honestly, I loved it. I haven't looked back since. I love the fact that I'm doing something that inspires other people. I like the fact that I'm able to encourage other people. I like the fact that I'm able to help people love themselves and their bodies fully. And just becoming an instructor has just been so fulfilling to me and I'm just excited to see where I go from here. All right, you guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And comment down below what questions you have for me as a new instructor. 
or if you're already an instructor, what things have helped you to become even better as an instructor. As always, don't forget to subscribe because I don't want you to miss a thing and make sure you're following me on Instagram at Janaeway so we can always stay connected and so you can see more poll content. And until next time, I'll see you. Bye.